Jordan Childs. You said things were taken from you. What was taken from you? Um, the biggest thing that was taken from me was that it was the recognition of who I was. Not like my, not just my sport, but my person, like the person I am. Spoke with Forbes and broke her silence on her bronze medal being taken away. To me, everything that has gone on is not about the medal. It's about, you know, the, my skin color. It's about the fact that there were things that have led up to this position of being an athlete. And I felt like everything like has been stripped. I felt like when I was back in 2018 where I did lose the love of the sport, I lost it again. And additionally, she spoke on what is seemingly an Olympic robbery. Recall Childs placing third in floor behind Simone Biles, the GOAT, and Brazil's Rebecca Andrade. It led to this moment that will be etched in the history books, even if some stateside, like the Ravens' is Marlon Humphrey, despised it. Then this happened. Olympics corruption? Controversy is still raging after U.S. gymnast Jordan Childs was ordered to return her medal. But why? How? Here's how it came to this. A week ago, Childs scored 13.666 on her floor exercise routine, putting her in fifth place off the podium. U.S. coaches appealed the score, which is part of the game. You can appeal. Arguing the judges failed to add points for the difficulty in Childs' routine. They won that appeal, meaning the judges agreed they'd failed to consider it. So they gave Childs an extra one-tenth of a point, which means she now earned the bronze medal. Long and short, as we have gone over previously, Childs did her routine, her coach has spotted an error, and her coach placed an inquiry. The gymnast would receive a tenth of a point back, deeming her first incorrect score of 13.666 invalid, and thus being given a total of 13.766 which would place her third above a pair of Romanian gymnasts. Then this happened. Romania's gymnastics squad had the same questions and filed an appeal alleging Coach Landy's inquiry came a minute and four seconds after Childs received her score. Just outside, the one-minute window allowed for filing such claims. And this. So as part of their challenge to the child's revision, the Romanians argued Manisha Voina's score deduction for being out of bounds was inaccurate, and therefore Manisha Voina should technically be in third place. The Romanian group apparently proposed that all three gymnasts be awarded bronze medals as a solution to this scoring mess. But the Court of Arbitration for Sport, CAS, instead upheld that the child's inquiry was indeed too late. But... Cass responded saying, quote, rules do not allow for arbitral award to be reconsidered even when conclusive new evidence is presented. And thus. Now, for people that don't know, when uh, when, the, when the court that rules on cases as it pertains to uh, the, the Olympics and international sports, once they rule, there, there really is nothing else you can do about that. And the Swiss court is the only option. So that's why American gymnasts and the Olympics are threatening to take it there. I think people sometimes figure out like, why do we keep going to Swiss if it ain't for cheese, Tehran? But this is really the reason we're going because this is actually the only court that can actually do it, even though it's rare in that case. But another wrinkle, a potential conflict of interest. Dr. Hamid G. Garvey serves as the head of the three-person panel at what I'm sure you've seen from many outlets is the CAS or Court of Arbitration for Sports. That's the body that overturned the review and led to Childs not getting the bronze anymore. From the Times, details first published by the International Institute for Conflict Resolution and Prevention, a nonprofit, show that Mr. Garvey, the presiding arbitrator in the hearing and a lawyer based in France, is currently serving as legal counsel to Romania in disputes at the World Bank's International Center for the Settlement of Investment Disputes. Mr. Garvey's work on behalf of a Romanian, on behalf of Romania, dates back almost a decade, excuse me. Childs, though, through it all, would take to Instagram. And this was a heartfelt, tough read that I am going to uh, read for you right now. I have no words. This was on August 15th. This decision feels unjust 
and comes as a significant blow, not just to me, but to everyone who has championed my journey. To add to the heartbreak, the unprompted, racially driven attacks on social media are wrong and extremely hurtful. I've poured my heart and soul into this sport, and I am so proud to represent my culture and my country. Third paragraph, I will never waver for my values of competing with integrity, striving for excellence, upholding the values of sportsmanship and the rules that dictate fairness. I have taken pride in cheering on everyone regardless of team or country. Finding joy again has been a culture shift and I love seeing others embrace it. I feel like I have given everyone permission to be authentic to who they are. I am now confronted with one of the most challenging moments of my career. Believe me when I say I have had many I will approach this challenge as I have others and will make everyone, every effort, excuse me, to ensure that justice is done. I believe that at the end of this journey, the people in control will do the right thing. Unfortunately, they have not. They have not. That would be her lone statement on her Instagram. From the post, she told the Summit audience from the first clip via Forbes that losing the medal was not fair. She performed a routine that was worthy of the honor and her coach followed the rules in making sure that Jordan Childs' score was accurately tallied, she would say. At the August 14th CAS hearing that led to the overturning of Childs' medal where she had to give it back, USA Gymnastics and Childs' coach, coach did not object to the Romanian Federation's assertion that they missed the one-minute deadline, which is a farce. My opinion, of course. There was a great moment from Flavor Flav, a public enemy, who I may or may not be seeing soon, I hope so, where at the MTV VMAs, he gifted Childs, as Variety called it, her very own diamond-encrusted bronze stopwatch. Obviously, it goes without saying, Flavor Flav, you know, if one has been a caveman, wears a humongous watch as a chain around his neck, and he gifted it to Jordan Childs. He is also connected and has a strong connection with the United States water polo team because he practically funded them. But the events that took place in Paris still linger for Jordan Childs. Via CNN, she said, Childs did, that she previously had a coach who was emotionally and verbally abusive to her in the year 2018. She explained she, quote, didn't have the ability to use my voice or be heard, adding that the sitch in Paris brought back similar emotions. The abuse would lead Childs to contemplate quitting the sport altogether. Imagine that. Imagine that. You turn it around. You win through rigorous abuse. And then something you rightfully accomplish is taken away from you and it brings back these memories, ones that you felt you overcame a little bit at some point rough. Childs would say she called me fat. She said I looked like a donut to the littlest things that people asking me, oh, you're eating this today? And it's like, well, I'm not eating because you just triggered my brain. And it was really, really hard on me, she told Taraji B. Henson and Tracy Jade on Taraji's show. She'd add, because I was just like, this is ridiculous. Like, what have I put myself through? but I was also enjoying it at the same time. So it was like half of my brain was telling me one thing and half of my brain was telling me another. All right. So as I look at this, I understand that there are rules in place. Obviously you do not want um, these reviews to take long, but my argument would be when I watch a football game, and someone throws a challenge flag, we wait and wait and wait. It is a detriment, but we want overall because we have the technology and systems in place to get it right. If she rightfully earned this score and they potentially, allegedly, missed the review mark by seconds, I call BS. I do. And I would feel the same way if it was a Romanian. If the Romanian team placed an inquiry and challenged what was Sunni Lee's beam, and they think that they got 
something wrong, an error the judges did. And we go to the review and we analyze it and it shows who should be the rightful winner. I'm sorry. You got to call a spade a spade. For Childs, I feel for her. My heart goes out to her. Considering what she has overcome, this feels like a grave injustice. If you can and are willing, please become a paid member here at TYT Sports. And or go to tyt.com slash join. In addition, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Appreciate it. Have a great day.